Hey what's up guys, Matt here from TechRate Reviews, and today I'm going to be talking about the reasons the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro is better than the 13-inch MacBook Air, and this video is actually part of a collaboration, so if you head over to my friend Alex on Answer Tech, he's going to have the reasons the MacBook Air is better than the MacBook Pro, so if you're looking to buy either of these and you kind of want a buying guide or to see who each laptop is for and what are the benefits of each, check out both of our videos. There's an annotation somewhere around here and there will also be a link down below in the description. You've probably already guessed it by now, but really the biggest reason you should buy the MacBook Pro is the Retina display. You may not think the display on your current laptop is bad, but once you see the Retina display and you go back to any other computer, you immediately notice the lower resolution of the screen. And this is kind of hard to show on video, but I've got some close-up footage of the screens and you can see how much sharper the text is and how fewer pixels you can see on the MacBook Pro compared to the MacBook Air. But the resolution isn't the only reason the screen is great, it also has really high contrast and accurate colors. All the blacks are super dark, and if you're doing video editing, you can actually preview a full 1080 sample in the upper right hand corner, so if you want to see what your final video will look like, you can do that without ever having to go full screen or close down other applications. While not directly related to the actual quality of the screen, the MacBook Pro also does have a slightly smaller bezel on the sides and top, and it doesn't, like I said, affect the screen quality, but it just provides a more immersive experience as you don't have the bezels, and the bezel on the MacBook Pro is black compared to the silver, so that comes down to personal preference. Personally, I do like the black, as I think it just provides a better cutoff to the screen, and as a result helps you focus on the content on the screen better. The next reason you should choose the MacBook Pro over the MacBook Air is the number of ports and expandability. With the MacBook Pro you get two Thunderbolt ports and on the MacBook Air you only have one Thunderbolt port located on the right side and if you have a Thunderbolt drive and you want to get that super fast backup speed and just data transfer or if you have two Macs and you want to transfer data between them super quickly, that's where Thunderbolt really shines. However, I do wish they included three USB ports and only one Thunderbolt, as for me personally, it's a lot more useful and has a lot more uses. But the other reason to buy the MacBook Pro is you get a HDMI port. So unlike the MacBook Air where you'd have to use a Thunderbolt to HDMI or VGA adapter, on the MacBook Pro, you don't have to carry around any extra cables and can just plug HDMI devices directly into it and mirror to an external monitor or projector. As the Pro in the MacBook Pro name implies, it is targeted towards the professional who is doing things such as video editing, graphic design, 3D animation, coding, or just any activity like that, and they need to get the most performance out of their computer. So to see how much performance you are actually gaining, I ran the Cinebench benchmark, and as you can see, the MacBook Pro on the left, which has a 2.6 GHz processor that turbo boosts up to 3.2 GHz, scored 26 frames per second on the GPU test and 272 CBs on the CPU test. The MacBook Air on the right has a 1.3 GHz processor that turbo boosts up to 2.6 GHz, and it scored 21 frames per second on the GPU test and 224 CB on the CPU test. So there definitely is a difference in the performance of these two computers, but it really depends on what you're doing. If all you're going to be doing is web browsing and playing some web-based games, the MacBook Air will be completely fine, but if you're doing a lot more graphic intensive tasks or CPU intensive tasks, the MacBook Pro is the way to go. And also, the MacBook Pro, you can upgrade it a lot more when you buy it, not afterwards, as both, basically, all you can upgrade is the SSD afterwards, but when you're buying it with the 15-inch MacBook Pro, you can buy a dedicated GPU, and that will help if you're doing very heavy video editing, but on the MacBook Air, you're locked down to integrated graphics and a maximum of 8GB of RAM, while on the MacBook Pro, you can also upgrade to 16GB of RAM. 
So it really does depend on what you're using. Like I said, web browsing, MacBook Air is fine. Video editing, animation, you might want to definitely look into the MacBook Pro as it just offers more performance and will make doing those tasks better. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and now have a better idea of which laptop you want. So once again, remember to go over to Answer Tech and check out Alex's video of the reasons why the MacBook Air is better. And make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all of that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.